Hi, Mark Gordon with Golden Ticker on Friday, September 27th, and I uh, want to go through uh, the uh, GLD chart. This is the gold ETF, obviously, and we have some interesting uh, things happening here. We have a convergence of moving averages here. The blue one is the 50-day moving average, and uh, the green dotted one is the 100-day. So the 50 has now crossed uh, above um, uh, uh, just slightly above the uh, the 100-day uh, moving average, and uh, uh, so this should bring uh, uh, you know some momentum traders into the market. And uh, you'll notice that the uh, red line, uh, which is the 21-day moving average, is also converging right there uh, all together. Um, so you have three uh, moving averages all in the in the same region here. And uh, of course, the 50 is the one we watch a lot, and that is uh, has turned higher uh, in September and now uh, uptrending. Uh, um, so uh, the 100 day is starting to flatten out a bit too. That's been in a long term downtrend and, and uh, way up above there that gray dotted line is the uh, 200 day which is solidly in a, in a downtrend. Um, so uh, we're starting to pull uh, some of the longer uh, uh, moving averages uh, uh, either flat or to the upside. Uh, which is a good sign. So uh, gold, um, uh, the GLD uh, uh, ETF here, uh, the 125.15 uh, is really the line in the sand for me as far as this uptrend goes. Uh, we are in an intermediate term uptrend. Of course, uh, we had the big spike up there uh, 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 l last week uh, on Bernanke's announcement that he was not going to taper his easing. And then we had a nice pullback to test the resolve of the longs there. And now we're grinding higher. Um, you know, the last five sessions uh, or, or four, session, four sessions have been uh, sort of grinding higher sessions here. So uh, still have to get above that 50-day uh, moving average, which we're still under, and still would like to get above the 100-day. So right there, uh, we're coming into an inflection point here in, in about the 130, 131 level. But uh, some bullish signs here uh, for gold. And looking now here at the SLV, the silver ETF, uh, we can see the same kind of story. The blue line, 50-day moving average, hugging that here for the last week or so. Um, uh, we did have the big spike up uh, on big volume when Bernanke announced his announcement and then pulled back sharply on some volume and now grinding higher along that 50-day moving average. So nice, nice action there. The 20.45, 20.45 line in the sand for this uptrend here uh, in the uh, silver intermediate term wise. So uh, silver looking stronger here. Um, uh, needs to do some more work here. Love to see it get above the 2258 level. and uh, uh, But so far so good holding the line here. Okay, now we're looking at the uh, S&P 500 um, stock index and um, down about a half a percent today. Uh, we've been in a, a little bit of a give back period. We had that long run up. You can see uh, multiple, multiple days of just grinding higher. Now we're pulling back uh, in below average volume mostly. Lots of down days though, but still holding firmly above the 50 day moving average. So it got, got a bit extended there. Now giving back some uh, uh, consolidation wise here. And um, so far so good. You notice that the 21 day moving average has crossed over the 50 day. Could bring some uh, uh, short to, to intermediate term players in on that regard. Your uh, moving averages are all aligned properly. In other words, the shorter ones are above the uh, longer term moving averages here. So I look at this as nothing but a bit of a uh, give back period after a nice long run up. Typical uh, uh, retesting, uh, you know, usually about a 50% retracement, 60% retracement, something like that is an order uh, after a nice sizable move like that. So uh, looking for the 50-day uh, moving average uh, currently at 1680 to hold, 1680. Um, a little consolidation down around that area. And if that gives way, we have more consolidation down around the 1660, 1665 level, which is the 100-day moving average. So S&P looking good. And I'll do one more here. This is the uh, NASDAQ composite, down about uh, two-tenths of a percent today. And you can see the little handle that's forming uh, uh, here above the 10-day uh, moving average, this gray line getting support down there, well above the 50-day moving average and above the red line, the 21-day moving average. Uh, so moving averages stacking up beautifully here. Uh, this is just a little bit of a consolidation period, uh, digesting a nice move up off of the uh, 35, uh, I don't know, thir call it 3590 area. 3600 area. Uh, so um, uh, NASDAQ composite looking strong too. Stocks looking good. 
Uh, so there you go. Uh, thanks for listening and have a great weekend.